Okay, this is my tea, summer tea. I have um, picked up some herbs. But what happened? There were lots of insects there. So I'm picking them up. And look, they are trying to escape, of course. Poor bugs. And I was thinking that it's very similar to how we people are trying to escape the unseen hand that is holding us within the death camp of New World Order. It's sort of, it has its methods how they stir us out in the water of their trap. And we try to escape like these little bugs. And I had this <clears throat> explicit experience here because I'm calling to your conscience from Sweden here. And I had this experience that I was in a house of a Swedish man in his, he's 41. He lives alone in a little wonderful, lovely apartment on the first floor. And he has this bush full of Eden flowers, Elden flowers. And it was full of these bugs who were taking over the Elden flowers. And he felt sad about those bugs. And he wouldn't pick them up. Yeah. He wouldn't um, liberate elven flowers from the bugs. He would le let them <coughs> have the bush. So he was, there was hardly any flowers left on this big bush because he would feel sorry about these lovely bugs, he thought. He, he, because he's raised to think, who am I to take a life? And they are sweet. And this probably is a bit of pain for the bugs. And they are trying to escape of course. But the bugs that eat el elderflowers are not species that can't be sort of destroyed because there is sort of no threat to their nation. They are in abundance and they should be taken away from lovely Elden flowers and others. And definitely from my herbal tea. But I was thinking about how we, we are just like these little bugs trying to escape when the unseen hand is chipping us and putting into their New World Order trap. Using artificial intelligence. And there is sort of... The men don't even want to hurt the bugs. Where else know how to stop the unseen hand? that is murdering us and our children and grandchildren. So it's very important to know that we have the right to stop those who are destroying our inhabitant. We have the right to stop them. And if they don't leave us in peace with our resources that are necessary for our birthright and our land right, then we have the right 
to hurt them. And even destroy them if they are endangering our species. So this is very simple, generally. It's not more complicated than this lovely tea bug picking session. We just need a pool, a wet little water pool, where we pit, put them to swim so they get a bit busy instead of eating us and our foods and thinking about life and where they should be instead of disturbing our rights and terrorizing us. In this case they don't even have to think a lot. I will throw them out of the window into the grass and then the gods will take care of their chances. But they will not be in my tea. So may the gods be with us when we work with uh, separation of useful and disrespectful, of loving and hateful within our realms. This is Data of Godland, and I love you. I hope you love me too. We all need love.